Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. Are you ready? Are you ready for today's video? Okay, for this video, we are going to focus on the next subtopic in measurement, which is volume. And for today, we are going to focus on volume of hollow boxes. So, what is actually volume? Volume can be defined as the amount of space which can be filled with solid, liquid, or gas. Yeah. Jumlah ruang yang boleh diisi dengan pepejal, cecair ataupun gas. So, for example, let's say we have about two buses. Okay, bus A can fit about 40 people and bus B can fit about 20 people. 40 orang, 20 orang. So, which bus is bigger? Of course, we would say bus A is bigger. Tentulah kita kata bus A lagi besar bukan? So, but we can also say that the volume of bus A is bigger than bus B. Why? Because bus A have the much bigger amount of space that can be filled with people. Yeah? Bus A ada ruang yang lebih besar untuk lebih ramai orang boleh masuk. That's why we say the volume of bus A is bigger than bus B. So, what is the unit that we can use to express volume? For example here, the volume of a box of milk can be expressed in milliliter or written as ml. ml? Membalik jadi ke? No. ml means milliliter. If you can see here, 500 ml, yeah, milliliter, 500 milliliter of milk. We use milliliter for small, normally, for small amount of liquid. Yeah, milk is in liquid, it is small amount, eh, jumlah yang kecil. So, 500 ml. So, the, uh, the next example is the volume of a bottle of water is expressed in liter or written as L. Eh. Maknanya, uh, jumlah air ni lebih banyak. So, we use liter. Eh, jumlah yang lebih besar. Okay. You see here, in the, in the bottle. Yeah, this is water bottle. And one liter. The next one, the volume of water tank is expressed in cubic meter or written as meter. And this is the symbol for cubic. Yeah, three small. Yeah, the small three here is written as uh, cubic. So, how to measure the volume of hollow boxes? What is hollow boxes? Yeah, this is an example from textbook. Yeah? Uh, hollow boxes means that uh, a box which have nothing inside it. Yeah? Satu kotak yang tak ada apa dalam dia. That is what it means by uh, hollow boxes. Okay. Inside your textbook, page 87, there are three hollow boxes uh, that are given, which is box A, B and C with different measurement. Yeah? Different measurement. Yeah? Size yang berbeza, ukuran yang berbeza. So, what we need to what we need to measure the volume of hollow box is this 1 cm times 1 cm times 1 cm cubes what is cubes cubes means that it has the same measurement the length the width and the height so this actually represent for each of the measurement yeah the length is 1 cm the width is 1 cm and the height is 1 cm. So, what is the volume? Volume of a cube is equal to length times width times height. Panjang, darab lebar, darab tinggi. Maknanya kita ambil balik. Yeah. So, it's 1 cm times 1 cm times 1 cm times yeah 1 cm times 1 cm and times 1 cm so it equals to 1 cm 1 cubic centimeter yeah cubic centimeter cubic centimeter so so 1 cube is equal to 1 cubic centimeter 
So what is needed to uh, prepare all this cube to measure the volume of hollow boxes, hollow box A? Yeah. So what we need to do is put the cube and arrange it inside the hollow box. Yeah. Until the hollow box is full. Right. Until the hollow box is full, just like in this picture. Yeah, you arrange it properly so it can be fit. Okay, when it fit properly like this. Okay, the next step we need to do is we count how many boxes. Ah, uh, sorry, how many cubes that are needed to fill the hollow box. So let's say, uh, we for the box A, we need about twelve cubes. Okay, so. Well, how much is the volume of hollow box A? Very good. 12 centimeter. What's 12 cubic centimeter? If you still remember, 1 cubic centi uh, one cube is equal to 1 cubic centimeter. So 12 cube is equal to 12 cubic centimeter. Let's say for box B, we need about 18. 18th of uh, 1 cubic centimeter cube. Okay. So, what is the volume of hollow box B? Very good. It's 18 cubic centimeter. Let's see how about box C. Let's say box C need about 24 cubes. So, what is the volume of hollow box C? Very good. It's 24 cubic centimeter. Remember to, re to write that to express the volume just like in the I've shown here. Yeah, cubic centimeter. Cubic centimeter. So for another example, let's say we use Rubik's cube. Yeah, I know you have played with this Rubik's cube. Okay, let's say one cube from Rubik's cube is equal to 1 centimeter 1 cubic centimeter so what we next to do we take a row from the rubik's cube and we count how many cubes are there are there sorry so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 do we do we write here 9 no because there is only a row of it so one row contain of 9 cubes so there are three row and each row is nine cubes okay so what we need is we add up all the numbers so equal to 27 of the cubes eh? 27 one cent cubic centimeter cubes so the number we should write here is 27 so what is the volume of the rubik's cube is 27 cubic centimeter very good i hope this video helps you to uh, to measure the volume of hollow boxes using uh, the one cent cubic centimeter cubes that's all for today thank you